Welcome to Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to turn rocks into rock. Second try. Now with 10 times the pressure on compared to last try. So 10 times better rocks coming. And we are going to also test other favorites, sand and glass. So all are silica. Rock and sand are pretty similar. And the glass has different crystal structure or something. It's different. And the tool that we are going to use this is the 20 millimeter rock maker many millions. I don't even remember the name anymore. But because the diameter is so small, the pressure is really good. Yeah, but because the diameter is so small, this can turn even water into rock. Only downside is of course that it can't turn many rocks into rock. Only like very small amount. These are going to turn uh, mini rocks into like medium rock. And then, because we're going to push so hard, we have to use hardened, hardened uh, piston. There is a good chance that it's going to explode. So we're going to use the safety box and close the blast shield. So if it explodes, all the problems stay inside of the box. But Never cross anything that's hardened. It's the first thing to know about hydraulic presses. Yeah, or the second thing. First thing is not to cross any of your own body parts. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That's like 120 tons. That's probably like more than enough. Okay, then interesting part. <laughs> Do we get our rock out? This is also good practice for the water rocks because I learned that if we manage to make the ice 7, that's metastable on room temperature. So we can take it out when the time comes. We could use the same rollers maybe. Just have to line them up really precisely. Mm. Let's try. Let's go behind the shield. Oh. All right, I have a look. Let's have a look. Oh shit. What? The rock isn't very good. Uh, give me a screwdriver, I'm going to like poke the rock. Okay. Yeah, this is not rock at all. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let's try with the sand. Oh. This looks very professional. Oh. <laughs> okay, how about this? I just, I just realized if we want to get that shit out, yeah. it doesn't help to just keep pushing new ones in. Yeah. <laughs> to get the old out. <laughs> uh, but I think it's getting looser when you like push things through. So uh, let's push one more of those from this direction and then try something like this again. Yeah. Yeah, there is some uh, wear and tear from pushing things out. But I think it's going to be just fine. I think there was like ro some rock shit between the uh, rollers and the tool and it got pretty tight. Ooh, it took four rollers. <laughs> yeah, but these are like... This this one is this one is bad. That one probably was like uh, getting stuck. Okay, then the sand, and this is also a bit wet, so that's interesting. 
I think uh, people recommended adding some water to see how it goes. I think rocks are dry from inside, so I wouldn't say probably that this is a benefit, but it's going to be tested now. Okay, I'm going to now test the limits of the uh, bearing rollers. I'm going to go full pressure, so it might explode. Oh, no. But this is uh, important to find out, so we can know how hard we can push the water in future videos. <laughs> I think it's sinking to the two. <laughs> now yeah. we have a nice boat there. But that was also important uh, mm. research. Now we know how much of surface pressure this tool can take. So we can be sure that this can take more than the I-7. I have to check that. Mm. But it was like around 130 tons or something. Almost all of the pressure before it started to sink. And also it's sunk here. So it's like, it's like sticking out from there and there and mm. the sand rock is between. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I had to repair the tool, but check. The bottom thing fell out and you already see the rock there. It looks really solid. So uh, let's try to push it out. That's an actual miracle that you can line the tool so well that they every time go in. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is again. This doesn't look good. So that's why it's stuck. But how about the rock? Do, 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 do. <laughs> what is this? What, the what is this? Is that? Yeah. This is not sand. No, where does that come from? That's not sand at all. <laughs> yeah, that's not sand at all. I think we broke our tool. It's like it's it's oh. it's missing from. I think it's yeah, it's definitely missing from there. I think it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. but the re interesting finding. Test. This is really hot. Ooh. That's really hot. Yeah. Hey, there is like pretty cool flakes here. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that this is pretty much as hard sand rock as the first try was with much, much bigger, like with 10 times less pressure. And the rocks were also pretty much the same. Yeah, I think we don't need to try with the glass. It's been already so long video. Mm. But hey, we learned a lot from the tooling for the future i7 video. And then we need, I think I have to order like tungsten rods. You mm -hmm. cannot get these bearing rolls with any longer dimension. So I'm going to switch to tungsten and then we are going to switch to 10 millimeter diameter for the uh, i7 video. It's going to be four times less surface area. So we need to use four times less force and we can't even reach the pressure with this, it's like 170 tons to reach water, to reach the I-7 with this diameter. So I'm going to get some 10 millimeter tungsten rods. And then I have many different competing seal designs that I'm going to place under the rod. Um, rest of the tooling, it's going to be pretty much the same. It's going to be these thick steel parts with through hole and then I'm going to just place like pistons on both sides and seals on the both sides and then cross water between and it's going to be I-7 and I have no idea how long it's going to last on room temperature. It's going to last some time but I didn't find any numbers how long it's going to last but we are going to try to get it out and my ultimate goal is to touch it. So I'm going to be first person in the world to touch warm ice. Yeah, 
But uh, I think that's not going to be ends. I think that's going to be a couple of weeks. I have to order a lot of stuff. But subscribe the channel to see that. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.